Hello everyone, it's Small Farmer 6 Seven Ten. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another model modification video. So I've meant to be doing this one for a while. And I've actually already done one of these now, but this time around it's gonna be a much improved version. So New Holland T sixty eighty low bonnet um conversion. So I'm gonna be using a universal hobbies, New Holland T seven two ten which are quite a rare model now and I'm going to be swapping the bonnet from a high bonnet to a low bonnet and add a few other extras like a chrome exhaust beacons and see what else I can find to add onto it so let's get into it guys so here we are the two models now you may remember a couple of months ago now back in November time um, I done one of these a New Holland T6080 I done it from a New Holland TS 135A and the only thing that lets this down is I think is the cab everything else is relatively good uh, like the, the front weights, the tyres they're off a New Universal Hobbies model um, but the cab is the only thing that really lets it down um, and here is the Universal Hobbies T7210 which has the actual nice cab being a Universal Hobbies that one is Britain's by the way. Uh, it has a front linkage and it has nice tyres as well. So really the only thing I have to do is change the bonnet on it. Um it has no beacon so I'll have to add a few beacons on and I kinda have a notion of putting a chrome exhaust on it. So we'll see how this goes guys. I already have the bonnet uh plucked up on the T sixty eighty so it's handy enough that's one thing uh, done off the list and the way these universal hobbies bonnets are put on um they're all kind of done the same way so the way i do it is just get a flathead screwdriver and just pluck it up so it's very simple guys you just as you may see here where the top link is where i have my finger there I'll just try zoom in as it's there's kind of like a technique in doing this so I'm gonna watch a bit carefully and um you just pry it up like that. Now I already I already had a pry it up but you need a bit of force, just be a bit careful. And as you see there's these glue little rivets or dowels that hold in the bonnet. So I may need to cut them off, being a low bonnet it'll be sitting a bit lower. But I'll just um, see how she sits on. Looks kind of weird without the bonnet on. Um, doesn't sit too bad, yeah, but yeah, obviously I'll have to cut them dowels off. Um, it, it is kind of perfect length. They're near enough the same length. Maybe about two millimeters shorter, but it's not really going to make a, a massive difference. As I, as the fellow would say, nothing that a galloping horse will notice. But um, no, I'll cut these off right now. I might see if the pliers will cut them off. I doubt it now, but we'll give it a try. Oh, well, look what they do. That's a lot handier now than getting an old saw and uh, going at it. So guys, I have the bonnet on. It looks really, really nice now. Looks a lot better than I actually thought. Um, I've also added chrome exhaust, which I just took the exhaust off. Um, just cut it off with the pliers. Um, just so I could paint it up a bit neater. Than it. I could mask it up as it was, but I said I'd take it off. And it's glued down now at the moment with a bit of super glue. Um, but no, it looks amazing now. Um, to do now, I have two beacons here. I'm going to drill two holes for them at the top of the cab. And hopefully it'll look, um, it'll look, it'll look even better now. So after that, I think that's about it. I have a nice front way here for it, which goes on quite well. Um, but there's not really a lot else more to add to it. I'm not really sure. Uh, I could add like small things like a, a window banner or something like that, but really small thing. Um, I might take the GPS unit off if it doesn't leave a a, a print in the roof, 
as I'm not sure if, if if I if I like it there but other than that the beacons and it should be a really good tractor and pretty simple conversion as well so quick little um, tutorial how to do the beacons so I get a drill bit roughly about that size I don't know would it be three millimeter um, or two or so and I just drill it into the cab there if it'll focus uh, it doesn't need to be too deep into the cab now I know in real life the bracket won't be there it'd be probably around here on the pillar but just for model reasons um, if I had to put it down there the beacon wouldn't be seen so that's why I'm drilling into the cab and just you want it in about enough just so the beacon can just sit in there just a little groove for the beacon and that's about it a bit of super glue and it'll be held in firmly and it shouldn't be going anywhere um, these beacons they can be got from HLT miniatures or farmmodels.nl or I think Artisan32 might do them, but there are three websites that do them anyway. And they do a lot of heap of other stuff as well, so go check them out, guys. And it's coming along nicely. So, guys, here's the New Holland T680 in all its glory, all finished, complete. And I do have to say, guys, it looks fantastic. Here is the original tractor, or what it would have came from. And just with a simple bonnet change over, you can look like something like this, which is very unique as you don't see them, you can't get them off the shelf. And I don't know how much it costs for the price of 20 euro um, with the tractor that the bonnet came from, the two beacons and a bit of paint for the chrome exhaust. Really does look nice now in my opinion. Let us know guys what you think of the tractor in the comments below. And what's, what's the next modification you'd like to see? Please leave your comments down below. And I'll see you again in the next video. Please like, comment and subscribe. Bye for now.